Hello and welcome to Sarah's Stamper Retreat. So to start with we've got these dies and you can combine them to make gingerbread man. And you've actually got a gingerbread house template there as well. So these are quite thick plastic templates that you can use to create a gingerbread house. You also get um, the template for a slider card. Then we've got this big stamp set. So you've got cute animals and then you've kind of got the gingerbread -y Christmas type ones. And then you get this paper pack. So you've got these scenes that you can use on your card. You may see there's a little bit of dirt on mine. My son trod on it. Then we've got these to make up your scenes. We've got a whole page of different sentiments. So you've got happy birthday, thinking of you, winter wishes, Christmas. So you've got a whole variety of things. You've also got a variety of papers. So you've got these kind of more like type springy type ones and the animals. And then you've got the, the more Christmassy gingerbread type ones. And you've got the gingerbread style papers as well. And then you've got these again. You've got a mixture of Merry Christmas, Sweetest Friend, Happy Birthday, that kind of thing. So we've got those and then we start. So then today we're going to create some wrapping paper. Uh, so I've got a 12 by 12 piece of Stampin' Up Basic White cardstock, which is a nice thin weight cardstock. So obviously when you're making wrapping paper, you don't want it to be too heavy. You want it to fold nicely round your present. So... I'm just going to stamp it all over with a pattern. So I'm going to use the stamps from the stamp set for this. So I'm going to use Have the Sweetest Christmas. And then I'm going to use the um, Gingerbread Man and Lady from the stamp set as well. And I'm just going to fill in some of the gaps with some of these sweets. So then I want to create some masks. So I'm going to stamp some gingerbread ladies, some gingerbread men, and some sweets onto some masking sheet. I'm just going to cut that out. And when you're cutting masks, it's important to cut right on the line so otherwise you'll get like a white edge around um, what you've cut out. So I've made a few masks and I'm going to cover my stamped images. So I've masked off a section of my cardstock. And now I'm going to take my Distress Oxide Ink in Sponge Sugar and I'm just going to go over that corner. And then I can move these. So then I'm going to Grab my pink again and go over this area. So then I've got my piece of paper and I've taken all of the masks off. Now I'm just starting to colour it. So I'm using my Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol markers. You could use whatever alcohol markers you've got in your stash. You can obviously use other colouring mediums as well, but if you are going to use watercolour markers or something water-based, then you'll need to use a different type of ink, like a stays-on ink that works with those, because otherwise your ink's just going to smudge when you're colouring. Then here's our finished piece of wrapping paper. 
really cute and this does take some time I would only be using this for very special presents but it is really cute and I think it's really special right I'm calling this wrapping paper but the other thing you could do with it is just cut it into pieces and use it as backgrounds for your cards because that would be really cute as well so then I want to create a tag to go with it and I'm using one of these huge tags um, this is from an old Drew Crafts Create Christmas kit so I'll see if I can find something similar to link to but I think a lot of places do these big size tags um, I'm taking this twine off because I don't want the twine and I'm going to create a tag that coordinates with the wrapping paper but doesn't match um, if you wanted it to match you could always cut off a piece of wrapping paper to cover this where I'm going to cut a piece of paper from the pack. So I'm going to use a piece of this really cute gingerbread man paper. So I'm just going to cut a piece of paper to fit it. So then some people might prefer to put this on and trace around it. But I prefer to glue it onto here and then use the actual tag as like a template to cut around it. And I'm making sure to get up to the edges. I don't want big globs. And I'm going to pop that on there and make sure that the whole tag's covered. And like I say, I'm going to use this as a template just to cut around. And then I'm just going to pop a hole in the hole. I'm just going to cut around that too. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there. And then I'm just going to push those extra bits through just to make it look a bit neater. It's still not going to look great, but we're going to put the ribbon in there so that will make it look neater. And then I want to create some bits to go on it. So I've got this lace trim. And this is like ages old from Paper Mania. I doubt they still do it anymore. But I just thought you can get this kind of thing anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to colour that. So I've got my Dark Poppy Parade marker and I'm just going to colour the lace about the width of my tag. And I'm using alcohol markers, you could use any brand. I'm using this end because it's harder and if I use the brush end I'm likely to ruin it. I'm doing it on some scrap paper as well so that if anything goes through the holes it's going on the scrap paper. Then I'm going to cut that off and then I'm going to do the same with this doily. This is an old Stampin' Up! doily um, but again I think doilies are something that are really easy to get all over the place. This time I am using my brush end just to get a bit more coverage but I would still be careful because going up and down like the different levels probably isn't great for the brush end. So then we've got our two pieces and then I've got this Happy Holidays that I've just cut from um, the papers and I'm going to glue that onto some um, cardstock just to give it a bit more weight because I want to pop it up. And then I also want to use the two larger gingerbread men from the kit this is from that big stamp set and i'm just going to just ink them up stamp them on here doing one of each and then i'm just going to color them with my stamping blend so i've got poppy parade i've got polished pink i've got cinnamon cider and the dark black so i've got the dark and light of each of those colors and then just the dark on the black and then i can just color these in So I'm just going to cut them out. So I'm going to add this um, piece of lace that we coloured on with a bit of double sided tape. I always prefer dry adhesives like tape with things like ribbon because I find if you use glue with ribbon or lace 
it tends to soak it up and then it's not as easy to adhere. I'm just going to line that edge up there and then I can just trim it off there where the untidy edge is. Now I'm going to use a bit of the outside and these dimensionals on here. Now I just want this to tuck under so I'm just going to pull that up just a little bit and then I'm going to add some glue onto here. And then I'm going to trim off the edge. And then I'm going to grab some more foam tabs for the back of my gingerbread people. And then I'm going to finish it off with this Merry Christmas ribbon. This is just one I've had for ages, but you could use any red ribbon. I'm just going to thread it through there. And then I'm going to thread those bits back through the top. And then there's our tag finished. So then we've got our coordinating tag and paper, which I think is really cute. So I really hope that you've enjoyed today's project. If you did, I'd appreciate you pressing like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new YouTube video available. All of the products that we've used for today's video are linked in the description below. And you can also find a link to my blog there, which has a list of supplies with pictures, which may make it easier to shop. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.